how does a concussion have anything at all to do with the neck? Well, what happens with a concussion is there's some sort of a blow to the head, okay? To the point that the head, which this is the skull, the brain sets in here, the brain actually bangs up against the inside of the skull, okay? Enough to where it can actually bruise the brain, creating a wide range of symptoms. Now, what we have found is the brain heals, okay? Uh, and then what happens is oftentimes they have what is considered post-concussion syndrome. And if you look up post-concussion syndrome, it's a wide range of symptoms. And uh, a lot of the patients we've had have had everything from headaches to dizziness, to ringing in the ears, visual effects, hearing effects, dizziness, uh, problems in the neck and the rest of the spine. Uh, lots of different symptoms the result of a post-concussion syndrome. Well, what happens, if you can imagine enough force to bruise the brain inside the skull, what happens to the two little bones that sit right underneath the skull, okay? Imagine you have a bowling ball weighing 10 to 12 pounds, and underneath it you have this little bone here which weighs three ounces. How much movement would that be between that bowling ball and that three ounce bone to the point that it could actually put pressure on the brain stem which comes down through those top two bones? When that happens, it squeezes down on the brain stem and that can interfere with the messages from the brain to the body and even from the brain to the head, face, and neck, which can affect everything up in the head, face, and neck, as well as other problems even further down the spine, which may not even show up till weeks, months, sometimes even years after the initial trauma. So what we do at the Upper Cervical Spine Center is we're gonna check everything from the head down to see if maybe that same trauma that produced the concussion created a misalignment at the top of the neck that has never been corrected that could over time create a much longer, uh, a much worse variety of symptoms known as post-concussion or maybe it could even be something that happens years down the road after the concussion. So if you've had a concussion even years ago, the best thing you can do is go to an upper cervical doctor near you. Let them at least check this area to see if at the same time some damage was down here that could be creating lasting effects from that initial concussion and trauma. So if you live in the Charlotte area, give our office a call. Wilmington, Nashville, visit one of the upper cervical spine center offices and let them check you out to see maybe you're, uh, rem uh, you have something going on that resulted from that concussion last week, last month, years ago. Have a great day.